So, what we are about to hear today is Sri Lanka's one and only Subaru Forester SDI2 Type M, which is directly based on the SF5 model. Now, just like Toyota has TRD, Nissan has Nismo, BMW has M, Mercedes Benz has AMG, Subaru also has their own tuning division, which is called STI. Now, cars that were built on the STI showed a much more noticeable difference in performance, engine, and so on and so forth. Subaru claims there were only 800 units ever made of this particular model. So we have one right next to us. So without any further delay, let's dive right into it. Okay, now let's start off with the front end of the uh, Subaru Forester. So obviously you have the Forester badging right over here along with a little vent that feeds air directly into the engine bay to keep the temperatures down to a minimum. And also right about that, you have the hood scoop that feeds air directly into the intercooler like I've always said in every other Subaru video out uh, that we have done. So that's that. And moving down here, you have the the lights. Now, right below that, you have little uh, fog lamp covers uh, that, that just say so STI on it. And then right below that, you also have like another air vent that feeds air right in the engine bay again. And that's pretty much it for the front end of the car. It looks uh, really good, sounds really good, and also has a massive punch to it. Engine bay, that, that's not for Shana to talk to, and you'll obviously that in the video uh, later on. So, Gaijin over there, which means outside. And what the owner was trying to you know, say is that the car looks normal on the outside, but on the inside, it's nothing that you'd expect. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the front end of the uh, Forester. Okay, so now let's talk about the, uh, the side profile of the Forester. So, at first glance, these are some original, straight from the factory, uh, raised 17-inch forged alloy wheels in, uh, in this very uh, popular gold car that all Subarus uh, have. Uh, and also the brakes are stock for, the bo for both front and the rear end. From, these are all stock brakes from uh, Subaru. And yeah, so that's pretty much for the wheels, 17-inch uh, forged alloy wheels. And now moving to the side, you have uh, the side skirts, which only come in the heritage edition of the Subaru Forester. And right above that, you have the STI badging Subaru, Subaru Technica International with the Forester badging over there. These are frameless doors, as you guys can see. And that's really cool. And so you have that. And then, yeah, same, uh, same wheel setup on the back as well. Now, the owner, Gavin, good guy he is watching me review his car which is a bit awkward for me because the owners normally don't do that so go follow him hit him up uh, he has some good stuff about his car as well so go check him out okay now let's talk about the rear end of the subaru forester so the overall design of this particular for of the foresters look really good i must say and uh, so you have this massive uh, wing that only comes in the sti versions of the forester and then now moving down below, you have the Subaru badging along with the Forester badging and the STI2 uh, M badging right there. Now tail lights, tail lights look really good and they like really suit the car extremely well. Now this bumper, it juts out quite a bit uh, from over here. And these vents, these are fully functioning vents and they help to uh, pass air from through the, through the wheels all the way outside to help with a more streamlined airflow. Now, down below is everyone's favorite part. So this also has a similar exhaust system like the uh, like the Legacy, the STI Genome exhaust system. It sounds really good and will have a small B-roll of the, of the car idling a bit and also revving if Gavin is okay with it. <laughs> So now, uh, the trunk, so this is the wagon, let's see how much space it really has. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have one halal boy over here, I, and if, if the halal boy moves over this side, I think we can fit two halal boys, no issues, yeah. So good space, I recommend it, and you also have the little, uh, the sea tray, and you also have fish. <laughs> we also have the, sea, the we also have this uh, tray cover here, and yeah. And the halal boys, you can fit two halal boys very good, very nice. Okay, Hamad, that's enough of you. Bye. So, that is it for the rear end of the Forester. All right, now let's talk about the engine bay. It is powered by an EJ20 being a Subaru, a two liter box of four. In this case, the Forester produces around 250 horsepower and around 310 newton meters of torque. Uh, the Legacy, the S204 Legacy, which came right after this, the a year after this, produced around 290 horsepower. 
anyways that's just comparison now this car is all wheel drive and it is coupled to a five speed manual transmission we'll talk more about that in the interior in addition this of course has a turbo a grady turbo and a haltec performance system as well you can see the sci strut bar over here the intercooler and the aluminium radiator so that's about it when we're talking about the engine okay now we're in the interior first off you have a momo four spoke steering wheel and in front of you is your speedometer and your rpm gauge now moving to the right side you have a grady boost gauge uh so talking about the seats we come to the seats now seats are semi bucket seats and it is suede also the door cards as well door cards and the seats are suede uh stitched in red you have a ci logo embossed over here now these seats you get these seats only in the heritage version of the subaru forest sci which is this model this is a heritage edition so these seats are very comfy i must say and holds you in place when you're taking corners or going at uh, high speeds of course now moving to the left side you have your ac vents and a little storage compartment over here to keep your phones or wallets or whatnot then moving down you have your ac controls and and a cup holder over here now moving down you have your infotainment system aftermarket of course and then below that is your ashtray your cigarette lighter and all that and also another storage compartment over here if you want to keep your phone or your credit cards and whatnot so below that you have your gear shifter a five speed manual gear shifter and this uh forest also has a new touch kit uh so the gear shifter is zero sport and now moving to the handbrake it is also uh it also has red stitching to match the uh, interior of the car this sticker says gaijin in japanese here in the windscreen uh airbags we have driver side airbag over here and a passenger side airbag as well now all four shutters are power assisted and the doors are frameless anyways now being a wagon we have to talk about the rear seats as well before that if you want to you know have a smoke and you know be you naughty know, you have an ashtray an ashtray an ashtray an ashtray oh here also another ashtray too many ashtrays ashtray in the front so there are in total around 6 7 ashtrays in this car so the leg space is pretty good i must say head space also very good if you are if you're like 6 feet I, i think you you might be able to fit here uh the seats are quite comfy again like uh like i said earlier you have your you know you, if you want to put some files or books here you can put them uh, in the seat here uh so yeah and you have your speakers rear speakers that's that's it when we talk about the rear seats <laughs> All right, now we are done talking about the or the whole review of the Subaru Forest SCI2 Type M Heritage Edition. And huge thanks to Mr. Gavin uh, for bringing out the car in such a beautiful condition. Beautiful condition. Shit, yes, Sri Lanka is shit. Yeah, so only in Lanka. Huge thanks to him. Yes, uh, for bringing the car out. Go check his Instagram it. out. Links in the description below. Gavin uh, Gadi. Yeah. Yes. So, and yeah, also good nice pictures of his car. Yes. Uh, and there will be some nicer pictures as well on our Instagram page, Switzer Silon Twenty. Yes. And also check out our TikTok to see some uh, behind the scenes content and other content of this particular car and other cars as well, uh, Switzer Silon on TikTok. And also turn on that uh, that bell icon to stay tuned for more upcoming videos as well. And that's pretty much it. Subscribe, smash that like button, and share the video around if you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, Switzer Silon signing, signing out as always. Out.